Hey there, YouTube. Well, it's April 21st. And this here is the second mowing of my lawn this year. Uh, I went ahead and mowed it, trimmed it, you know, with the string trimmer and uh, fertilized it. Went ahead and watered it. I watered it by hand. I'm not sure if my sprinklers are coming on later today or tomorrow, but uh, watered it all by hand. And uh, so far, I think it's looking pretty good for only this uh, April 21st. I did cheat a little bit. I went down to Lowe's and got some potted flowers to put in here. I've got all kinds of seeds and bulbs and everything else that's going to bloom all throughout the spring and summer. But just to give it a little color right now, I started off with some, uh, some snapdragons and some petunias. Because the tortoises eat those petunias. They love those. And then the same thing in this pot. I've got thousands of different wildflower seeds and probably, you know, about seven or eight different types of bulbs in there. So I should have color all summer long. Same thing, petunia and snapdragons there. Same thing in these. Lots of bulbs and wildflowers and stuff that'll come up. Oh, there's a daffodil. I already uh, took the flower off of it because it was dying to try to promote more uh, more growth. There's a snapdragon from last year. That one held on. That's the only one that held on and it looks like it's going to do real good this year. And then this one, um, of course more bulbs and seeds and stuff, but all these survived. Well, I, I, you know, I took them all back to bare soil, but they're coming back, so that's real nice. The strawberries, some green onions, there's some of those daffodils, those are coming up. These are tulips. I had a real nice bloom there, but my dog stepped on it, and, well, there's the remainder of it there. But anyway, we got some tulips there, and we got some tulips over there, so that that's nice. But some of these lavenders, not really sure the name of those, but... Just grab some and threw them in the ground for a little color. And uh, these came back from last year, and I've got some bulbs and wildflowers and whatnot in there too. Here's some pansies I picked up yesterday at Lowe's. They were on clearance for a dollar a pot. I got to get those planted for the tortoise. Here's a composter here. Just put some grass in there because I mowed the lawn, but there's all kinds of good stuff going on in there. Put some red wiggler worms in there and you could see that's all turned into real nice real nice looking soil there real nice compost put my paper scraps in there grass leaves whatever haven't moved this yet this is still the tortoise um, above ground burrow and i just brought the tortoises out about a week ago put them in there the female's still in there the male he's out right now I've got a bunch of wildflowers and stuff planted in that mound of soil. I just threw a little bit of grass clippings on there today. Put a few pansies there, they'll eat those. Leave that grass alone there because they'll eat those. And uh, this is uh, two different varieties of kel that uh, live through the winter. So I'm leaving all this for the tortoises. Matter of fact, there's my tortoise down there. He's right there. So he comes out during the daytime. Okay, and here's my cherry tree. Starting to get some nice leaves on it. So that's real nice. That'll be filled out here pretty soon. Put a couple bird houses in so the birds can live in it. That should give them a nice little, nice little nesting spot. Here's my apple tree. It has some nice blooms on it. Starting to get some leaves on there. This is a multi-variety type. It says combination apple, red delicious, uh, several delicious varieties on one tree. That's grown quite a bit this, this year and last year. Here's this Mexican grass here. This is, uh, I trimmed all that down to nothing. That's coming back real nice this spring. That'll look real nice there. 
put this pole up with the birdhouse on top of it. Figured my wife would enjoy that. Here's the pear tree. It's really grown a lot last year and this spring. It's doubled in height easily. And this is a multi multi variety pear tree as well. And there's that cute little birdhouse right there. Went ahead and planted a California poppy there. That's one of my favorite types of flowers right there. These survived over the winter. They're coming back real nice and healthy looking. Hopefully they'll start climbing this year. Same for this. This is a type of, uh, I think it's a honeysuckle. This mound up here is pretty barren right now. But last year I had gladiolas, you know, up to, well, heck, probably about five, six feet tall. And that Mexican grass there gets real nice and tall. So that'll look real nice when all that starts blooming there. Okay, and here's a look at the grass from up here at the very top of the yard. Looking pretty good. I'm sure it'll green up a lot more. And this here is from the back side. You can see the gladiola starting to come up. I've got a lot in there. They really start popping and adding a lot of color there. And of course I've got bird feeders to attract all the birds. Right now I've just got black sunflower seeds in there. I don't mind those ones because if they germinate they're not that bad. I don't like the little little tiny seed that those they're like weeds when they germinate. This here I forgot the name of it. That's a bulb that comes up every year, a perennial, and gets real, real tall with beautiful purple flowers on it. Tracks hummingbirds and bees and all kinds of neat stuff. So that'll get real big here soon. And here's another birdhouse I put up on one of those poles. Get you a better view of that. I think that's a cool looking little birdhouse there. I pick these up a Goodwill when I find them, these birdhouses. I think they're pretty cool. Get out of there! Gone! Get! 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 Oh, he's eating the horse poop. I put some red wigglers in my buckets and they were in a little horse poop. So he, he's in getting into what he shouldn't be getting into. But anyway, yeah, I've got bird feeders all along the back fence here to attract the birds in. Here's my hummingbird feeders. I got a couple there and a couple there. I haven't filled those up yet because the hummingbirds aren't quite here yet. Here's a rose bush I just planted. Hopefully that'll get nice and big and fill this area up here where I put this log at here. I think that'll look pretty nice. I'll show you where I've got that. Right there, I think that'll look pretty nice there. And then this area here, I can't seem to... Oh, my sprinklers do come on today. I hear the drip lines turning on. Can't seem to keep the cats and the dogs out of here. They cats use it for a litter box and the dogs come in and eat the cat tootsie rolls. But I've probably got 50 or 60 different types of bulbs and wildflowers that'll be coming up in that little area there. It's that log I brought home, a hollowed out log I found. I think that's pretty cool. Here's this awesome rock. Starting to get a little sun bleach now, but how, how could you not take that thing home? That's just way awesome. Here we got some more daffodils there. And uh, this is my purple robe locust tree. It hasn't even started blooming yet. That's what they have in their backyard too. I guess it's a late bloomer. But I'm waiting for that to bloom. That should look pretty nice. Just run a couple little water fountains here for the birds to come and get a drink or whatnot. Here you can see my little drippers in action there. Same thing over here in this bucket. Got drip lines around all the buckets in the yard. I like chickens and roosters. I don't want to clean up after them, but so I figure this is the next best thing, right? Got a few of those around the yard. This guy here is still nice and colorful. This one here I've had for several years and the sun's really taking its toll on it, but that's okay. 
So anyways, that's the yard for mid-April. And here's a beautiful fire pit that I had uh, a fellow build for me. His company is called Twist It Still. And he uh, custom did this design for us. And this doesn't do it justice. You have to sit next to it at night. This is the best $1,600 we've ever spent on anything right here. It's just, you know, you buy something, and especially when it's a lot of money like this, and you bitch about it, and not, not this. No way. This is one of those buys that we don't regret whatsoever. It's just, we love it. Totally is a great, great centerpiece there to our little porch area. I'll probably be getting some new chairs. Those are pretty cheesy, but uh, yeah. Well, that's what we got going on. Thanks for watching, YouTube.